Hey everyone and welcome back to another Unreal tutorial. This tutorial is going to be about interfaces and I'll be showing you how to implement these inside of C++ and Blueprints. Interfaces, if you're unaware, are just another way to interact between classes or communicate between classes inside of Unreal. And to get this started, we're going to go to our C++ class, go to any folder in here, right click as you do normally, create a new C++ class, and the interface class is actually right down at the bottom under the Unreal interface. Now I'm just going to give this first of all a new folder. I'll just call this interact. So this will be leading into some future content where we start implementing interactable classes. All of them will implement this interface, which will make it very, very easy for us to use certain functions with different results on different interactables. With the folder set, I'm just going to name the interactable class and we'll call this the interact interface. And I'm just going to make sure that this is dropped into the public folder. And with that done, we can hit create and we'll let this compile and create the new class for us. With the compilation complete, you should be brought into the CPP file, the code file, which is going to be pretty much empty besides a few lines of code, and that's perfectly fine. And then next to that, we'll have the header file. So in the header file, this is where we're going to add a few of our functions. Uh, and this is very similar to any other class the only caveat being is that we're not going to add any implementation to these. Uh, we are just going to declare the functions. So the first function I want to create in here is for when the object is interacted with. I'm going to call this one on interact. Inside of this, I just want to pass a reference to the actor which is potentially interacting with this. So it's going to be an actor type. And I'm just going to give it the name cooler. We'll close that off as usual. And I'm just going to add a few U function parameters up here. So I want to make this as easy to use as possible and as flexible going forward. So I'm going to make this first of all uh, blueprint native so we can use this in blueprints. I'm going to make this uh, blueprint callable and I'm going to give this a category called interaction. And with that done, we can copy the U function that we have now and we'll be using this for the other functions we make. So the next one I want is we're going to account for the player viewing or looking at the interactable object uh, and we can have different functionality based on when the object is looked at. So I'll call this one void start focus. We can close that off and then just copy and paste the U function above it. And then finally we're going to go down and create our last function which will be our end focus function. Again we'll close that off and then just paste the U function above. So like I mentioned, that is actually everything done now. Uh, we don't add anything into the code file here. So we can just compile this and go back to the engine and see how we use these. Now I've actually launched my uh, build of this through Visual Studios. So I cannot do the, uh, the build in Visual Studios. So I'm just gonna go back to the Unreal Engine here and hit compile. That just saves me a little bit of time doing it this way. Okay, it's not really a difficult error that I've got here. Uh, but I do like to keep these in the video just in case you're following along exactly. You'll know where you've gone wrong if you get a compiler error. Just saying that it's the unknown function specifier, uh, blueprint native. I just forgot to type the whole thing. So I'm just going to come back in. We'll go to the blueprint native and finish this off with the word event. And just make sure that we replace these on the other blueprint natives that we have. So make sure you save that. We can go back over, hit compile again, and we'll get this running. Okay, so that was successful that time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all show how we can use this straight into a blueprint. So if we go to any blueprint class, I'm going to go to the character class. And the way that we implement interfaces inside of Unreal is we go to the class settings. We can come up here, we can see how we've got the interfaces. None are currently implemented. So we can add one here and we're going to find the interact interface. We can see the only option here is the one that we've made. And what we want to do now is make sure that you have compiled and saved this just to make sure that everything refreshes. Inside of the event graph, we can look for any of those three functions that we have declared. So let's go for the on interact. So we can see here we have the event on interact, and this gives us the option to call. We can see this is calling an interface because of this icon up here. Uh, we're calling the on interact function from our interact interface with the parameter that we've provided, the caller. So basically, the way that you could use this is, if you imagine we have our line tracer ready, whilst we're looking over something, we're obviously getting all of the information about that back, the name of it, uh, the actor itself. So uh, we could pull off of this if we're looking at something. We could actually call the on interact function on whatever we're looking at, the interface call. 
Now the difference between this and casting is that we don't need to check the class type, uh, especially in blueprints this is going to be a lot cheaper because it means you need to gather a lot less of the references to everything else that other class may be holding. And it's also quite safe, it means that you can just fire this event off, you can see if it implements the interface, if it does then on interact will be called, and if it doesn't then it will just be skipped and nothing will happen. Of course you wouldn't use it here, the idea would be that something would be looking at the character, it would call the on interact, and we would have something like a print string saying I've interacted. So that's the way the interfaces will be used, and we're going to see a lot more of this in the next video where we actually create our interactable class, and we'll be calling these and using them properly. The other thing I wanted to do though before we do finish the video off is just to show how we can also implement these in C++. Just in case that's all you wanted was a quick uh, how to on how to implement them and uh, actually call them. So I'm going to get rid of this for now. I'm also going to go back to the class settings and remove that function so that we know that when we actually do this in C++ that's where it's coming from. I hit compile and save and go back to the C++ classes. Now what we want to do here is going to go to the character base, I'm going to go back to the header, and the way that we would implement these is we're going to go down to the public section, uh, but before we actually implement the functions what we need is up at the top of the class, after the uh, public character, so the class type that we're in, we want a comma here, and we're going to say uh, public i interact interface. So we've got the i because it's an interface, same as we have the a before the character, that's all that's saying, and then the name of the class that we've created which is the one over here. Now of course to get that working we want to make sure that we include that class type so we'll do the include interactable interface dot h and with that done in time it should know what this is and the error should go away. The important thing is that any time that you implement an interface into a C++ class you need to make sure that you add a call for the function of each of the functions that the interface includes. So of course an easy way to do this is we can just copy all of these, I'm going to go back to the character base and we'll declare these here, then we will also need to actually implement them here, not just declare them. So I'm going to use my shortcut, but this is implemented in the same way as any other function, uh, for the shortcut of, again is control and period, I'm going to create the definition and it's the same again, so we're still using the ayt character base, the name of the function, and passing in the correct parameters. Okay, so I've just gone back very quickly, added these into the, uh, the code class. Now again, I probably recommend you don't follow along with this. This is just an example of how you implement the interface functions into a class. This isn't going to be the sort of class we want to put the interactable interface in, but this is how you do it in C++. Now if you include an interface in a C++ class and you do not include and implement all of its functions that the interface has declared in its header file, then you will be met with warnings and errors. So that's why I just wanted to get this bit across. But it's going to become a very long video if I actually then start implementing them and doing things with that logic as well. So I'm going to split that into a second part. But with that done, I'm just going to show that this will work. We can come back here, we can compile this, and we shouldn't have any errors. Okay, I did have some errors because I've made this slightly harder for myself trying to expose this in blueprints ahead of time uh, before we're actually using them because we've got the implementation, uh, the, the native uh, event is expecting an implementation function as well. Now we have seen those in the past, so I'm not going to tread the same ground here. Just for speed, again, definitely recommend you don't follow this. I'm just going to get rid of the U functions, we don't actually need those right now, um, and I will re-implement them for the tutorial in the future, but just to get this working, the easiest way is that we're going to have the interact interface with just standard functions, uh, non-blueprintable, and we're going to use the same functions in our character class, just so that we can get this compiled. Okay, so with nothing else besides that changed, we can see that has all compiled successfully this time. Now what we'd expect, if we go back into the character class, we'll go to the class settings, uh, and we can see that rather than having this implemented manually up here in the implemented interfaces, it's actually going to show as an inherited interface now, but we can still see we have our interact interface inherited because it's done in the C++ class just here. Now because we obviously removed the uh, specifiers and the U functions, we're not going to have access to any of these now. So if we type on interact, we're not going to get any of those functions in blueprints, but all of those would work in C++ when called. But like I mentioned, I just wanted to not leave this without having it make sense how to implement them in C++, because 
you will get, like I said, a lot of errors if you have the interface functions, the interface implemented, but the functions not implemented. So even with these empty, that just allows us to compile this and get it running. Like I've said though, uh, just to stress this, if you're following along, waiting for the next video, I'm just gonna get rid of these. This was purely to show how to add them. So we're not gonna use these functions. We definitely don't want this in the character class. So I'm just gonna remove all of the interface stuff from the character class, leave this one here. I'm gonna be creating some pretty cool interactable objects in the next tutorial. Okay, so if all of that removed, if you are following along exactly, make sure you're careful with what you're deleting from the C++ class there in the header file. Uh, we should have a successful compile again. So that has all gone through successfully. And like I've said, that has now lined us up that in the future video, we can jump straight into our interactable classes and I'll show you how flexible this approach can be and the different ways that we can implement them. So I'm going to leave that video here for today. As always, if you enjoy these videos or find them useful, please do leave a like and share the video around. That always helps. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with any of the content coming from any of the playlists on the channel. And as ever, thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.